What's going on YouTube? My name is Derek and today I have a quick unboxing for you of a wallet uh, because I'm an accessory type of guy and wallets are the things that I find myself buying a lot of but this is by the company OpenSea Leather and it is a company that was founded in 2015. Uh, the founder's name is Michael Bluth uh, and I believe he is a US Navy vet um, and you know he uh, he has a passion for making these leather goods throughout his travels all over the world so I just wanted to unbox this for you guys uh, so we can share this moment together. Uh, but right now I'm currently using um, just a small little thin wallet. It's, it's on other rooms. So I'm not going to get it at the moment. But I like to have minimalist wallets. But in this one drew my eye through my <laughs> endless YouTube videos I've watched. So this is the wallet. I believe it's called the Hubei 2.0 is the name of this one. Uh, and when you go to the OpenSea Leathers website, they have a plethora of um, materials and colors that you can use to make these. So what I did for here, this brown, this is called the whiskey. And then this light tan with this peach color is called natural. And the main reason I chose to go with this is because I had seen some videos on YouTube of how this color darkens when it patinas and it looks really nice. So I'm just gonna have to put it in some wear and tear to this for it to get there. But here's the wallet and you can see you can even customize the stitching here on this. This is the silver and then there is a little uh, the open sea leather embossed right there. Uh, I like how it's, you know, it's not too big, it's, it's, it's subtle, uh, but you know, it looks really nice. That's the only really branding that's on here. So if we open this up real quick, you can see that this is a very premium material product, all right? Uh, the leather is not too thin, or not too thin, my bad, it's not too thick. Let's see, we can focus in here. You can see all this, all the texture and stuff underneath. Um, I really like the way this looks. It really has that genuine smell. Love, I love leather goods. As much as I don't use them on my smartphones, that's just because I like to have a little more, I like to be a little more rough on my smartphones. So I don't want um, <laughs> I don't, don't want to scratch that up and then you know I'm like oh I gotta change phones but for stuff like watches and you know wallets and other accessories uh, I, I tend to lean more towards leather goods uh, just because you know when they patina they look really nice uh, it doesn't really bother me you know a lot of people talk about the stories and stuff the leather tells throughout your travels that's fine I've never been one to you know I guess boast about the stories I just really like how the way they feel look and smell uh, they're just really good products so and michael has created a really good product here um i don't have any like placeholder cards i can put in here and i don't want to put my real cards in here and you know show them in the video so i'll just show you guys here real quick uh <laughs> we'll use the little magsafe wallet here as a as an example card uh but how i've seen this used is in here in the back you can put some bills in here uh you don't have to fold them over you just slide them on in here and then they'll be able to fold over just like that and this slides into here. So when you f flip this back up, the bills will also flip up half in, half out. Uh, I've seen cards just like this. They slide them down in this in this middle spot right here, or they slide them down in that spot right here. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry I don't have any uh, cards. Uh, the only closest thing I have to a card right here that I can maybe use to show y'all <laughs> is an index card. So I'll fold this up real quick just for demonstration purposes. So you can put that in there like that. You know, close that down, you put there in there like that, close that down, and there is a pocket on the back as well. You can put stuff in there uh, like that. So you have three potential card slots. Uh, I imagine on the outside you would use this for like, you know, quick, a quick card slot, so maybe uh, an ID or your uh, credit or debit card that you use the most. On the inside, you can probably keep other cards or maybe some uh, gift cards or ID cards or uh, reward cards on the inside that you want to uh, carry with you at all times but I really do like the way this looks I'm excited to carry this long term and see how this leather starts to conform to what I'm carrying it um, I probably will make an updated video on this just you know so you guys can see some of the color change uh, in, in, in the near future maybe like in a month or two but I really like the way uh, this looks I think Michael has done a great job with the materials uh all premium leather stuff you know this there's nothing cheap about this wallet's um materials so i got this from michael's website openseaco 
uh, the the Hublet 2.0. I believe I got this for seventy nine dollars. Um, so obviously it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but I don't regret it at all because this is really uh, premium quality goods, and you know you pay for what you get. Uh, the wallet I'm currently using, you know, it's just uh, it's just, it's just a cheap wallet I got from Amazon, so nothing serious. But this is a really good upgrade. I have a couple uh, other um, leather goods. Like I think I have. Uh, a coach leather wallet and then I have a Bellroy one a magnetic one that closes so those were some of the ones I've used in the past but I'm excited to give this a go again this is the Hubei 2.0 from OpenSea Leather Co $79.99 if you want to check it out they have all types of color customizations like uh, like chocolate whiskey walnut black mahogany orange red I mean there's just it feels like there's like infinite amount of colors you can customize this the top leather which I believe this is called the secondary this is the primary, and then you can change, like I said, the, the stitching color. So, uh, go definitely go check out the website so you can see if there's anything you like on there. Based on first impressions, I really like this. I'm excited to use it. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to bring you guys a quick unboxing this before I threw it on my pocket and begin to use it. So, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.